In the tech world, we often see companies release new models that have improvements on older, popular models. Think about the differences between the iPod Nano and Touch. But sometimes, they also drop the ball on these new models. Hey, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com. Today, we're going to take a look at the new Dell G27 25D and compare it to what it replaces, the popular G27 24D. On paper, they're pretty similar. 27-inch screens with a 1440p resolution, IPS panels, and similar refresh rates. But once you unwrap them, that's no longer the case. So how does the new G27 25D perform versus the old one? And is it worth getting? Starting with the design, you see right away how different they look. It's almost like they aren't even from the same company. The old one has a pretty sleek look, and the new one is a lot more basic, even cheap looking. The eyes, they don't lie because it feels as cheap as it looks. The new one wobbles easily, and even the buttons to control the OSD are stiff. Speaking of which, their menus look very different. The old one has that typical Dell gaming monitor menu, and the new one has the same menu as your parents' monitor from 2003. Oh, here's another thing. We actually had to buy three units of this new monitor in order to test it properly. The first two broke when we tried creating an ICC profile during calibration. I guess you could say third time's the charm, because the third unit we bought didn't break. We also didn't try creating an ICC profile, so we learned our lesson. Of course, this is concerning, but not so much if you don't plan on calibrating your monitor. Okay, back to the comparison. Even the stands are very different. The old one offers any kind of adjustment, while the new one only has tilt. This makes it very hard to adjust. Besides that, the inputs are similar. The old one has one HDMI and two DisplayPort connections, while the new one is the opposite two HDMIs, and one display port. Plus, they each support the same bandwidth. One of the few things that are actually the same. All right, we can continue looking at the differences, and we'll talk about the picture quality. To start, they both have IPS panels, but they're not the exact same panel. Because of this, the new one actually has a slightly higher contrast ratio. But blacks still look great in dark rooms, and the new one lacks a local dimming feature, unlike the old monitor. That's not the worst thing, though as the local dimming is pretty bad on the G2724D and it's always on in HDR. So even though the new one doesn't have HDR support, this doesn't make a big difference considering how bad the old one is for HDR anyway. Another difference when it comes to their panels is actually the viewing angles. Even though the old one has the wide viewing angles that are typical of IPS panels, that's not the case with the new one. The image quickly gets darker and colors wash out when viewing from the sides, which is bad if you need to share your screen with someone else. At least when you're viewing from directly in front, colors are accurate on both. Sure, the new one doesn't have an sRGB mode like the old one, but to be fair, colors are pretty accurate. It does have some more white balance issues than the old one, but the difference is pretty minor. Of course, we were able to get better accuracy on the old one after a full calibration, but that's because we played it safe and didn't create an ICC profile on the new one. Another minor difference between the two when it comes to the picture quality is the brightness. The old one gets brighter, but they're both pretty good choices if you want something for a bright room. Plus the reflection handling is pretty similar on the two, actually a bit better on the new one. Okay, now we can move on to the all important gaming. The new one actually comes with a slightly higher refresh rate than the old one. Good start, eh? Unfortunately, a higher refresh rate doesn't guarantee much. The old one still has better motion handling at any refresh rate, so motion looks sharper. Yeah, the new one is still fine, but it just isn't as good as the old one. Plus, the old one has consistently lower input lag with any signal, so it just feels more responsive. Unless you're gaming at 60Hz, the new one is still fine though. But one of the biggest and most disappointing downgrades on the new one is how it works with modern gaming consoles. While the old one supports downscaled 4K signals on a PS5 or Xbox, the new one simply can't do that. It does support 1440p signals up to 120Hz, but it doesn't even support VRR on them like the old one. So with all that said, is the new Dell G2725D an upgrade over the older G2724D, and is it worth getting? Absolutely not. 
Dell really dropped the ball with this model. The G2724D was one of the more popular cheap gaming monitors because of its sharp motion and compatibility with consoles. It really was one of the top value models in its price range, and we recommended it as one of our best gaming monitors in 2024. But everything that made that monitor great is gone with the G2725D. Sure, it's fine for a gaming monitor at such a low cost, but there isn't much that makes you go wow. And it just doesn't offer the same great value as its predecessor. Plus the fact that we had two units break on us is concerning. Because Dell has removed the G2724D from its website, you can only get the G2725D now. But if you prefer getting a budget gaming monitor that performs better, then instead check out the LG 27 GP 850B. It performs more like the original G2724D, with sharp motion, low input lag, and downscaled 4K signals on consoles. It does cost a bit more than the G2725D, but it's worth spending more on. That's all for the comparison between the new Dell G2725D and the original Dell G2724D. If you want more details on the monitors, check out our written reviews. The links are in the description below. Until next time, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com where we help you find the best product for your deans. Ciao. <laughs> Dude, I might use that. That's a good emoji. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'll just say it in the head. Wait, wait. Good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to make this a gift. Okay, I think we're good.